Well, I'm so excited because you have this new single, Plead the Fifth Out. What inspired it? Yeah, um, I've always been really into like story songs, especially by Carrie Underwood. She would always put out these, you know, two black Cadillacs and, and songs like that. And I've always been inspired. So I was like, I want to write a story song like that. Obviously one that's not completely true as, as myself. Um, but yeah, I, and I also really enjoy like crime documentaries. So, and like Law and Order and like shows like that. So it was a fun song for me to write. What has the fan response been so far to this incredible tune? I think everyone's really liked it. I think there's an aspect of like um, female empowerment to it, which is something I stand by. Um, so yeah, the feedback's been good. Well, you have this new song out now. What's your songwriting process like? Do you need to have music before you can come up with lyrics? Or with this one, you mentioned you had an idea maybe of a story arc that you wanted to do. Is that genuine, generally how you work? Or is there a different process every time? Um, I mean, I could say it's different every time, but most of the time, at least like 98%, it's usually the idea of the song first. Like what's the hook, the idea, and then probably from there the lyrics and then the melody. When it comes to the production side of the music that you make, how much of a hand do you tend to have? So I would say, so I started releasing, well, recording my own songs when I was 17 years old and um, released my like first EP when I was a junior in college. And I feel like then I didn't have much, like I wasn't like, I didn't want to put myself in those kind of leader shoes then like I, I was just starting out but you know the more I've started recording my own songs the more I'm I'm like okay um let's add a drum feel here or let's you know let's make the solo sound a little different or something and that that's really cool getting to be a part of that process as well you just have to insert yourself into it and be confident in yourself you mentioned that you released your first EP when you were a junior in college. My goodness, yeah. um, you've come quite a long way since then. What have you learned about your sound or maybe yourself along the way? I feel like with my sound, um, I'm more of like the country-ish rock right now. I'm trying to um, obviously pop still, but more on the rock side. Um, but when I first started, I was very, very country. And then I feel like I've transitioned to the more poppy um, rock side, I'd say. There is a bit of a tease coming about some new music possibly here in the fall. Uh, will there be a EP or a full album coming in the works? Um, that's a secret but know something's coming. We are working on it, it's in the works. <laughs> You've touched on the music that you make. Who've been some of your musical influences over the years? I would definitely say Carrie Underwood is at the top of my list. Um, I just love her. And lately it's been Lainey Wilson. I love, I respect her a lot as a songwriter, as a performer as just a genuine person, I feel like she's just so genuine. And I think that's how everyone should be. With new music, is there a chance then for a tour in the works as well? Or is that part of the secret? <laughs> no, I would love to tour. It hasn't been planned yet, but that's, that's definitely the goal. What are some songs or even some places that you still enjoy performing live at? I really enjoy, um, I love playing Whiskey Jam here in town. It's so fun. Um, Bus Call, I play that often. Uh, I love playing shows in Kentucky where I'm from. I love going home and getting to see all my loved ones there. It's so special to me. Um, I love the listening room here in town. It's There's no venue like it in my opinion. And yeah, those are like some of my favorites. Who would you love to collaborate with then on a song in the future? Obviously, Lainey and Carrie are in mind. Yeah, I also love Morgan Wallen. Really like him. 
don't know. We'll see. <laughs> what would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the beautiful music that you make? Oh, I just want to say thank you because it wouldn't be possible without them. You know, um, there's a part, I think music heals music's purpose is to affect people in some way and I, I just hope that my music does that for someone I have no doubt about that especially from the wonderful fan responses you tend to receive I'm sure from singles you release and uh, maybe a little bit of prodding for that secret to come out sooner rather than later <laughs> yes. yes it's in the works <laughs> 